welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Wednesday, so it is another what I eat in a day on WW. I do follow the Weight Watchers or WW program and I am currently on the blue plan. I do follow a clean approach to Weight Watchers, which basically means I eat as clean as possible. I follow about the 90-10 rule, 90% clean whole real food, 10% some of my favorite foods that may not fall in the 100% whole clean real food category. So you're gonna see everything that I eat throughout the day today, a little bit of fun, Diesel and Lola, so let's jump right into this what I eat in a day to lose weight on WW. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Deep end, we're alive, living life underwater. Let's spend all we've got getting buzzed. You pretend you're a god, I believe I'm a soldier. We play high. So here's my breakfast today. I decided to go with a smoothie bowl. My allergies are really bothering me, so my throat is really scratchy. So you can see I made this delicious thick smoothie bowl. What I used was just some mixed frozen fruit half of a cup of oat milk and half of a cup of water. And then my toppings, I have my chia seeds. These are from Costco. Pumpkin seeds, also from Costco. Slivered almonds, these are from Nutstop. I do have 10% off for Nutstop. My code here on the screen will get you 10% off and free shipping. It is not an affiliate link. It's simply 10% off for you. So I use those. And then I also just added a little bit of these organic fresh blueberries to the top. So. The smoothie bowl mixture itself is only two smart points and that's to count for the oat milk. I do not count blended fruit. It is one point for the chia, one point for the pumpkin seeds, one point for the almonds because I only use a tablespoon of pumpkin seeds, here's my tablespoon here, of pumpkin seeds and almonds and half a tablespoon of chia and zero points of course for the fresh blueberries. So this is a five smart point breakfast or a five smart point smoothie bowl, yummy. I just wanted to show you guys that my Grove collaborative order came. I've been a member of Grove for, oh gosh, a year and a half now. I love them. I order monthly from them. So I wanted to show you the few things I picked up for this month. So they have a four pack of these dog treats. These are the Shameless Pet. This is the Break and Egg. I like these because they have good ingredients. They're all natural, grain free, and none of them have chicken in them. And you can buy four bags for about $16.99, which is a really good price because any of these grain-free treats are pretty pricey. So there's the break and egg, the blueberry treasure, the lobster roll over, and the apple noon delight. My dogs love these. They're all really soft baked dog treats. So I'll pick this up usually once every couple months just for some treat options on hand. And then I decided to grab this real simple clean yoga mat cleaner because I've never cleaned my yoga mat that I take to Jazzercise. So I figured while I have all this time on my hands, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my yoga mat. You literally spray it, let it dry, and it's good to go. So this is important, especially right now, if you're using a yoga mat that you had somewhere else, like I did at Jazzercise, before I use it again, I wanna give it a quick clean. And this is eucalyptus scent. Also, this is one of the only places I can find hand soap. <laughs> so I grabbed their big gel hand soap in lavender and thyme. This is the Grove brand. I love this hand soap. It smells really good. Keeps your hands nice and soft. You don't, they don't get all dry like some of those other hand soaps. And it's really convenient. There's just a pour spout and you can refill all of your soap containers. And then lastly, I grabbed the Method Fragrance Boosters. I really like these as well. This is the Beach Sage. I use these all the time with the Met Method Pods for my laundry. So that's what I grabbed from Grove. I do have, I think I can get a link for you guys that'll give you a five piece free Mrs. Myers set when you join Grove. So it's like a $35 value. You get dish soap, hand soap, a bunch of Mrs. Myers products for free. So I'll link that down in the description box for you, but that's my Grove order. Now I'm gonna make some lunch. So here's my lunch for today. This was from my meal prep. If you have not seen my meal prep that was posted Monday, you guys have to check it out. This is what I made for lunches. This is a bootable with a homemade ranch dressing. Oh my goodness, let me just tell you how delicious this is. It's filling, it's satisfying. So there's a mix here of roasted, 
red onion, sweet potatoes, kale, and then some broccolini. And then I roasted up some chickpeas with some amazing seasoning on there. And then I made a homemade ranch dressing for the top. Oh, so good, you guys. And then I'm just having a bowl mix of fresh papaya and strawberries. So my Buddha bowl is only six smart points and that includes the ranch dressing on top. So this entire lunch, six points. So my boy has a new favorite spot. My husband said he woke up at one because Diesel wanted outside. His steroids make him have to go potty a lot. So he went and laid on his dog bed and then my husband woke up at four and he was still there. He's so precious. He just likes it out there because it's nice and cool. And this one, she's in bed still looking out the window. Hi, baby. I love you. You're my good girl, huh? Yes, my baby. You're so precious in bed, huh, honey? So here is my afternoon snack. This is actually my very favorite Built Bar. This is the Mint Brownie Delight. It literally tastes like a grasshopper brownie. It is so good. The consistency is more brownie-like than the traditional Built Bar. I love it. This and the Coconut Almond, I have to say, are my very, very favorite. So this is only three smart points. It's 110 calories, 15 grams of protein, six fiber, four sugar, and four fat. So I feel like I'm indulging in a minty brownie, but it's only three smart points. If you're new to Built Bar, there is a great promotion right now where you get $10 off of your first order. I'm gonna put a special link down in the description box. You do have to use that link to get the $10 off. Also, if you have a separate email, you can sign up as a new customer and redeem that $10 off. Otherwise, for those of us that have ordered before, I do have 10% off and free shipping, and that code is here on the screen for you. So check out Built Bar, highly recommend. It's great for a snack, keeps you nice and full, and really truly does satisfy that sweet tooth. And then of course I'm on, I think this is like water six for me, so yay me. So that's my afternoon snack. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna be making chicken divan. I am so excited about this. It sounds absolutely amazing. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. First, you're going to need some olive oil, avocado oil. I have avocado. You'll need some minced garlic, salt and pepper. The recipe calls for sherry, but I have had this Merlot wine since Christmas. So I'm going to go ahead and use that up. Chicken broth, all-purpose flour. This is the organic from Thrive. Some sour cream. I'll be using the Good Culture Full Fat Sour Cream. Parmesan cheese, paprika, thyme. I'm subbing minced onion for fresh onion because my husband doesn't like big chunks of onion. So I'm just gonna sub it with the minced. Chicken breasts, broccoli, and this is the Simple Mills crackers. I use these in place of breadcrumbs. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing I did is added about a teaspoon of my avocado oil to a pan, got that nice and warm. I chopped up my chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken directly to my pan. We're gonna let this cook until the chicken is brown and crispy. Once the chicken is cooked through, we're gonna go ahead and just add it to a separate bowl. And then back in our same pan, we're gonna put in about another teaspoon of avocado oil. We're gonna let that get nice and warm. And then to that, we're going to add the minced garlic and all of our seasonings, thyme, salt, pepper, and minced onion. And we're gonna go ahead and add all of that. And then we're gonna let this get nice and warm. Once your garlic and seasonings is fragrant, we're gonna add one quarter cup of our wine. And we are going to reduce the heat down to medium. And we are going to let this cook and reduce down to basically no remaining liquid. And then we'll be ready to add in the chicken broth and make a slurry with the flour and the remainder of the chicken broth. Once your wine has reduced, we're gonna go ahead and add in one half of a, one and a half cup of the chicken broth. We wanna make sure we save the other half of a cup because we're actually going to make a slurry with the flour with the remaining half of a cup. So go ahead and add the one and a half cup, give it a stir and go ahead and let this simmer and come to a boil. In the meantime, I added my one quarter cup of flour to the remaining half of a cup of chicken broth. And we're just gonna whisk this and this is going to create the slurry that we'll be adding to the chicken broth mixture. I also have a saucepan here coming to a boil. I'm gonna go ahead and blanch my broccoli before it goes into the casserole. And I got my oven preheating to 400. 
Once that sauce starts simmering, we're gonna go ahead and add in that slurry and we're gonna mix that together until it's incorporated. That will help thicken up the sauce and then we'll remove it from the heat, add back in the chicken as well as the Parmesan cheese and the sour cream and our broccoli is coming along. It should be done here shortly, and we'll go ahead and put that into a strainer and run some cold water over it to kind of blanch it, and we'll be ready to put this dinner together. I went ahead and removed it from the heat, added in one quarter cup of sour cream, one half of a cup of parm, and then reintroduced my chicken. I'm gonna give this a stir until everything is combined, and then we'll be ready to re-add in that broccoli and get this into the baking dish. So I re-added in my broccoli, and this is looking amazing. So I'm gonna transfer this to a baking dish, we'll top it, and we'll be ready to get this into the oven. All right, the casserole's in the pan. I'm gonna top it with about a quarter cup of parm, and I'm gonna mix some paprika in with my breadcrumbs and top that as well. And we're ready to go into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until it's cooked through. Doesn't this look so good? I am really excited for tonight's dinner. I'm gonna cook up some Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi for us as well. My favorite way to cook this is just put it in a pan, spray it with some non-stick cooking spray, Add a little bit of salt and pepper and fry it up. All right, dinner's out of the oven. Oh, this looks so good, you guys. I'm gonna let this rest for just a few minutes. Cut it into six servings. Plate it up along with one serving of cauliflower gnocchi and I'll be back to show you my dinner and give you the smart points. So here is my dinner for tonight. So I have one sixth of the chicken divan. That is five smart points on both blue and purple and seven on the green plan. And then I have one serving of the Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi for four points. So this is a nine smart point dinner for me on the blue plan. And I'm having a spindrift in grapefruit. I love spindrift, best water you can pick up because it is not made with natural flavors. It's actually sweetened with fruit. So I love the grapefruit. It's my favorite. So this is going to be my nine smart point dinner. For dessert tonight, I'm having the brand new smart sweets. You guys, how exciting is this? These are the smart sweets, sweet chew. So basically these are a starburst. They come in three different flavors. The flavors are mango, strawberry, and watermelon. Here's your nutritional information. Due to the saturated fat content and that makes these five smart points per bag but you can have an entire bag you guys of starburst for five smart points they're individually wrapped let me open the bag and show you guys what they look like they're still the amazing smart sweets they always were they're plant-based free of any sugar alcohols and only three grams of sugar per bag they're delicious so here's what you get in a bag so it looks like two four six eight ten eleven eleven pieces for five smart points Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, you guys, these are so delicious. So these just launched on April 7th. So there are new flavor of Smart Sweets that you can pick up. My code here on the screen gets you free shipping. So head over to the Smart Sweets website. You cannot buy these in stores. They are not in any store yet, but you can get them free shipping to your doorstep on the website. I'm so stoked about this. So this is my dessert for five Smart Points. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight on the My WW Blue Plan. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing everything that I ate, Diesel and Lola, and this dinner recipe was so good. The recipe will be on my website. The link to my website is down in the description box below. Also in the description box, you are going to find links and discount codes to some of my very favorite things, as well as the link to head on over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you over there. It's a great place for support, motivation, and some friendly faces during this quarantine time when we can't attend our regular workshops. So thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss a single video. Give this one a big thumbs up if you love these What I Eat In A Days and comment down below. Let me know, first of all, how your quarantine time is going and what you thought of this What I Eat In A Day. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!